What's up guys, welcome back to another video where we're going to be looking at a celebrity's car collection. If this is your first time on this channel, please hit that subscribe button down below, it really helps us out a bunch. And there's 73% of you watching these videos who are not yet subscribed. Again, as usual guys, if there is another celebrity you want us to talk about, all you have to do is comment down below and we will pick the name which is the most recurring in the comments for next week's video of this type. Today we are talking about one of the stars from the Fast and Furious franchise, Vin Diesel. <laughs> You guys inundated the comments in the last few videos asking for Vin Diesel. So today we're going to be looking at it. But I have to admit that being in the Fast and Furious movies actually made Vin Diesel one of the hardest people to research for this topic that we've had so far because it's so hard to know which cars are his, like personal cars, and which cars were cars he was just using for the movies, some of which he was gifted. Very hard to track down. So we've done our best to try and filter through the massive information that there was online and bring you as accurate as we can the collection owned by Mr. Vin Diesel. Now after doing a nine Fast and Furious movies, obviously Vin Diesel has gotten the car bug, always been a petrol head, and for us car guys, they are just legendary, legendary movies. So we're going to start actually with some of the Fast and Furious cars, which reportedly have been gifted to Vin Diesel. First of all, Total Legend 1994 Toyota Supra. This orange guy is one of the all-time greats on the Fast and Furious franchise. And obviously, there were nine movies, so loads and loads of different cars across all of those movies, but this is one of the most recognizable ones. Now, there are reports that this car was either owned by Vin Diesel or by Paul Walker, who has sadly now passed away. So, we're not sure exactly, but we thought we would add it to this list. Uh, one day, we may potentially also do a video on Paul Walker's uh, collection, because he had quite an impressive collection. But this specific car, the orange Toyota Supra, apparently sits in Vin Diesel's garage. Here are some clips which may help you remember just how legendary this car is. Yeah, I mean, to any petrol head, those are some pretty legendary scenes. You're going to also see, as we talk about the second car here, that Vin's actually been Vin. We're on first name basis. <laughs> He's been gifted a couple of cars. One of those is this Dodge Charger, which again is from the Fast and Furious franchise and was gifted to him on set, as you can see in this video. So on behalf of your Fast family... What the... <laughs> Pretty cool birthday gift to receive. So this is now two of the Fast and Furious cars. The third we're gonna talk about now is his Camaro Z28 F-Bomb. This car, legendary, I'm sure a lot of you will recognize it as well. There's some pretty cool footage of it. reportedly sits in Vin Diesel's garage and even though usually they don't actually have that much horsepower for the size of the engine apparently this one's pumping out 1500 horsepower 1500 pretty hard to get this kind of secured and confirmed but I'll believe it I want to believe it if you guys know of any other of the Fast and Furious legends that actually sit in Vin Diesel's garage please comment down below uh, these are the ones that we found the most reports on but obviously it's always pretty hard to know so I appreciate you giving us as much information and knowledge that you know in the comments down below now slightly more normal car which apparently is the car that Vin Diesel would drive to the sets of the Fast and Furious movies BMW M5 the V10 the one you kind of want the most arguably. V10, 507 horsepower, absolutely awesome car. Now you could get it in a manual or in a flappy paddle gearbox. No clue which one he went for, but pretty cool looking. It also featured in some of his movies. It's a car which is perfect around V10, car guy's car, but also perfect to cruise around kind of incognito as well. When you're as famous as him in LA, you want something that can kind of help you to blend in a little bit. Now, next car we're gonna talk about is not one that would help you blend in. This is another gift. So this is a gift from co-star Tyrese, who gave this car to Vin, which was actually well, his personal, not really a car, van, Sprinter van. He originally built what he wanted to be a Rolls Royce Sprinter van. So yeah, it's the Mercedes Sprinter Ghost. Rolls Royce logo is all over the place. And when Tyrese actually built himself a second Sprinter, he gifted this first project one to Vin Diesel. Here's a video. Good morning, sir. You're up to something. <laughs> this is yours. I don't believe it. This is yours. <laughs> <laughs> what the 
this. Obviously, it's pretty epic. Total luxury inside. You have everything you need. You got TVs, you got a fridge, everything you could possibly dream of in this sprinter van. Kind of the ultimate way, I guess, to cruise around. And no one can really look into the car, but they certainly will notice you driving past. Rolls Royce sprinter van. I actually, I love the concept of sprinter vans. I think they're so, so cool. The ultimate way to get around with your friends. I mean, Vin Diesel's, he's killing it. He's being gifted cars left, right, and center. Nailed it. Now, two more cars, which are daily drivers, similar to the M5. Mercedes G63 AMG. Probably Vin Diesel can be seen driving that around quite a bit in LA. And a GMC Yukon, which is a car that is kind of America specific. You don't get them around here too much, but classic American big four by four. Whack all the family in and you're good to go. I know you're probably thinking now, this is starting to be quite a few cars, but when you're 52 years old with a net worth of $200 million, you can kind of allow yourself to do some pretty nuts things, such as buy probably one of the most expensive cars in the world, the Lycan Hypersport, $3.4 million hypercar straight from Dubai. Now, I know what you're thinking. This was in one of the movies. Yes, it was. Reportedly, the red one in the movie, again, may, may not be the case, but there are a lot of reports saying this. That car was actually bought by Vin Diesel. I'm not sure if it was you know, before the film, so then they used that one because it was his, or if he bought it afterwards. But what we can tell you is that it's very expensive, $3.4 million. Why is it so expensive? It's got some pretty extravagant things, like for example, the front headlights can be finished in diamonds. So literally all your front headlights are diamonds. What I wonder is, do you need a bodyguard for that? So if you park it up outside a restaurant, someone could just come and like chip away at your front headlight, right? So wouldn't you surely need a bodyguard for your car? I guess you could have a few in your Sprinter ghost behind. 780 horsepower from a twin turbo charged flat six, basically derived from Porsche. Pretty cool car. I actually was lucky enough to drive a variant of this car, the newer model, the Lycan Fenier, which I thought was very, very cool. It's a, it's a it's a quirky thing. You don't see them very often. There's only seven of the hypersports that will and have ever been made. And apparently this red one sits in Vin Diesel's garage. So that would be the ultimate piece, the, definitely the most expensive. Well, I don't know, comment down below. What do you think? Do you think a Lycan Hypersport is worth more than one of the all-time great Fast and Furious movie cars? Arguably, the movie cars could be worth more. I don't know. You let me know in the comments down below. But that wraps up what we were able to kind of find the most confirmed information on Vin Diesel's car collection. He's got some awesome, awesome cars. Obviously, he's lived his life surrounded by some pretty cool muscle cars and just cars in general over the last 20 odd years while this franchise has gone on. Nine of these great movies. Hopefully, we'll see more in the future. Absolute pleasure kind of covering this topic. So if you guys have anyone else you want us to talk about, just comment down below in the comment section and we'll be doing another video next Sunday day. Same kind of topic. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please remember to hit that subscribe button, little bell, and the thumbs up while you're at it down there. And we'll be seeing you again very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.